Look at us go. I left everyone on uh, Now no one will know what I said in the last episode. Um, it's a mystery. Also, you may be wondering, hey, why are we getting near on a Thursday? We are getting near on a Thursday. Um, we have a, I don't like James. We have a, uh, a special video coming out tomorrow. We're not going to tell you what it is. We're going to wait until tomorrow. You're going to have to watch it. But I would highly recommend you going to watch it. It's kind of important. It so. is. Uh, but for now, I spoiled my surprise from last time, and I was talking about Angela Anaconda, this cursed television show. God damn. Yeah, fuck that show. Scary. And that, that show was scary, and it was on the same channel as Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Yeah, that was a tame comparison. I miss Tales from the Crypt Keeper. It was so good. I was never much for spooky stuff, so I always kind of avoided those kinds of shows, even if it was tailored for kids. My imagination runs way too far with things. There's holes in the ground. Oh, this room. I remember hating this room. Did you just talk? No. Whoa. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Whoa. You fell. Back to Don't talk to me. Back to start with you. Ed Ed Ned. I miss Ed. That, I love that the premise, like, honestly, that's the kind of show I can really get behind, because it's just about a, a boat of one to three misfits. It's fun. Sometimes people can relate to that. The floor, the floor looks like a face of a robot. How do you know we're not inside the robot? I know what the inside of, the inside of something looks like. I've played Bowser's Inside Story. Everybody knows that inside every human being there are these talking emo robots. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, a real Bowser's inside story is not a good place for an uh, for an enemy. No, you do not learn anything from the market. Okay. Ah! Alright, I would like science. Nobody talked to me. Okay, just enter anger mode. I'm always in anger mode. Let's be real. If anybody needs me, I'll be in the angry dome. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Uh, I watched the video that was talking about the, the new uh, future almost stuff. Mm -hmm. Apparently the angry dome returns. <gasps> the best character from the entire show the first time around. The angry dome. This is good. This is a good thing. I heard that the new stuff- Kate, you were saying that the new stuff was actually pretty good, wasn't yeah, it? From everything I've heard anyway, it's supposed to be quite good. Well, that's good. That's always nice to hear. We're back, baby. Is this thing going to get like with um, John Maggio and that stuff? back in the role? Well, it was that, or see somebody else take over a part that he... Invented. Yeah. Because there's, like, there's no way to have Bender without John Maggio. Well, yes, but at the same time, we also thought that we couldn't have Mario without Charles Martinet, so... But, I mean, it was Chris Pratt, though. Well, not even, no, no now... we're going to replace John Mario. Oh, we're talking about... Okay. No, like, Mario, like, they're, like Super Mario Bros. Wonder has a new voice actor for Mario. But that's because he retired. True, you got a point. There, there's a difference between a character that you don't really hear talk all that often and better. You've got a really good point there. That is, that is viable. Because, like... Uh, and again, like I'm not shitting on Charles Martinet here because I think he's uh, amazing. It's more the most we hear out of Mario is Wahoo and Let's It Go. Literally, with like, Bender, you can't hear you. You're or not so allowed. long, Gay Bowser. Exactly, and you're not allowed to hear someone else say, "Bite my shiny metal axe." Except I just did. But you didn't sound like him either. Exactly. Yeah, you got a point. Bender does have a lot. Does talk a lot more when compared to Mario and Luigi. Yeah. Can't we just dump it in the sewer and say we delivered it? Too much work. Let's burn it and say we dumped it in the sewer. <laughs> Bender is a gift. <coughs> Bender is a gift. Not necessarily a gift you want, but it is a gift nonetheless. He's a gift you didn't ask for and probably don't want, but you're getting it anyway. Pretty much. 
Who doesn't want me? Bender! I'm gonna talk about the camera I'm reminded that when you think about the thing that was fan expo you met to I met yeah, someone at Fan Expo was dressed as Richard Nixon's head on Bender's body and it was amazing. No, when you met uh, no when you met the voice actor. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, two not this not this fan expo, no, the last one, fan one, expo. One, yeah. I met the voice actor I met Billy West. Yeah, I'm, I was just thinking about that. I'm sure you made his day inquiring about Zoyberg as opposed to like Fry or The Professor. Like yeah. out of all the people like because like I know well, I don't meet very many voice actors, but I can only imagine that it might get a little tiresome when they're constantly told to do the one single thing. Like, all the time. So I'm hoping that I did make Billy West day by talking about a different character, but I also don't know how much Billy West gets talked to about the specific character, so. I'm sure future I'm going to talk to quite a bit of more people. Yeah. It's like, if I were to, like, I, I do admit, I will, I, I was, I was shy of meeting Charles Martinet at one point. I went to go and see if they were, the voice actors were still there and they were all gone. I'm like, damn, I missed, uh, because that was, uh, I think it was two years, three years ago. But I, one day I would like to meet Charles Martin. That would be cool, but I don't know how much he's going to be going with stuff now. That's well, the thing. Actually, I think that's what he, that's what he's been actually going to be doing. He's going to be going around and actually interacting with fans now. As yeah. opposed to voice acting, as the as the Nintendo calls it, Mario Ambassador. Yeah. Yeah, but then again, I kind of that's kind of why I respect them so much is because they just they go out of their way to just do different things. So different else. things recycles almost all of their game stuff. Well, it's not so much that; it's more like. Uh, there's a big controversy with Nintendo right now because they said that they filed recent uh, guidelines for their Smash Bros. Yeah, okay, um, look, I'm not going to defend everything. Yeah, I mean, like, they're weird about how they interact with their fans. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's I don't tend to love Nintendo as much as I like other companies because of the fact that they rely too heavily, in my opinion, anyway, on, like, I don't want to say people's nostalgia, but it's more, like, they don't put out a lot of new properties. It's like, here's a different iteration of games we've done before. Yeah, like, like the same Star characters, Fox. and... But Star Fox has the worst, just because they don't seem to want to do anything new with Star Fox, so they just want to renew, it. but they don't want to ever ex even expand the story. Yeah, no, what I've heard is that like Star Fox really just boils down to constantly retelling Star Fox 64 in different ways. Yeah. Oh, and it took Namco Bandai doing Star Fox Assault and Rare doing Star Fox um, Adventure for something new to come out of it. Well, like, for me, it's like they don't have new stuff, like, ever. It's it's Mario, it's Zelda, it's you yeah, know, Crossing. Stuff Animal Crossing, what? and I'll it kind of annoys me because you have these people who are so fucking rabid for Nintendo, and it's like, why are you rabid for a company that's doing the same shit over and over again? Like, there's no new characters, there's no new whatever, it's all fucking... I'm pretty sure their most recent new IP was Splatoon. Yeah. And that was in 2020 or 2013. No sense in you. That would be great. Like, look, I, I, I'm, I like Nintendo, and obviously I'm not. Yeah. You, everything you're saying is like, hey, that's your opinion. It's fine. Um, I, and it's probably because I'm also content to a degree with like seeing the same old. Like, I will not defend New Super Mario Bros. Not a chance. But I do get what you're saying, where it's like. They've got so many, they have more IPs than they know what to do with. Like, it seems like the only thing they really focus on are Mario, Zelda, Animal Crossing, and Splatoon. Like, that seems to be their four things like, right now. I would love to see a company that, like Nintendo just, like, absolutely throw themselves into something new that people haven't seen before. Instead of, like, here's 
like, and again, like, I'm not going to complain this specific game. I'm just using it as an example because it's the one thing I can think of. Like, cool, let's have Breath of the Wild. Let's have Zelda in this, like, what is relatively new for Nintendo, you know, open world, like, whatever. But it's still a Zelda game. Like... There's still a lot of the core Zelda elements in there with, like, puzzle dungeons and all that. Which, again, I don't have a problem with because I fucking love Breath of the Wild. It's more, like, I don't understand why Nintendo is so resistant to change with stuff. Specifically, more, like, I don't understand why they wouldn't put their considerable assets into developing something with, like, new and exciting that kids can grow up with. Because part of the thing I think for us, especially, or people of our generation, is that, you know, we have so much nostalgia surrounding Mario. We have so much nostalgia around, you know, around Zelda. And for me, anyway, it's definitely like, why not make something new that newer generations of kids can grow up with? I have an idea. Super Mario RPG, but it's a rocket control cannon instead. No, it's like Super Mario, Super Mario Call of Duty. Call of Mario. I think the problem with Ryan is a couple of things. One, that's modern capitalism for you. It has put in the least amount of effort for maximum yeah. returns. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Which is a deeper systemic issue than just yeah. Nintendo. Oh, absolutely. Also, did you play a little bit, of, just a tiny bit of Devil's Advocate? Sony released The Last of Us Part 1 HD. That did not need to exist. No, I'm not disagreeing with you on that. No, no, I'm just saying, there's not a lot, especially with game companies, because they have proven to be the most, the most willing to gout people's wallets out of most yeah. companies in this, on this planet. Well, so, can I take something? Gaming is definitely not a bastion for creativity when you know you can make the same amount of, a lot of money with minimal effort. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do agree that sometimes it does feel like they're just definitely chewing on nostalgia, but... And it's it's more... You have, Nintendo is such a big company. Like, they have so much fucking resources under their belt, and I don't understand. Well, why they're not willing to do new creative things with new IPs rather than just giving fucking Shigeru Miyamoto more fucking money towards bullshit. Another two different things. I mean, that they didn't have a lot of IPs. A lot of them don't see current use. So even a lot of people would be happy even if they just revisited all their IPs. F -Zero, I'm pretty sure F-099 was already enough of a bone for most F-Zero fans because they haven't seen anything in like almost 20 years. And that, wasn't that, I didn't, I didn't pay much attention to the market, that was just Tetris, wasn't it? Or was that like the Knife versus 99? It, it's yeah. literally an F-Zero battle, 99 Battle Royale. It's like, yeah, yeah so it's what, not even a new game, it's just Yeah, Tetris. I saw that, I'm like, haven't they already done this like four times with other IPs, like Pac-Man 99, Tetris 99, Mario Bros 99, I don't know, yeah. it's like, I almost felt sorry for F Zero fans, but apparently F Zero fans do also like it. So I'm like, hey, if you guys like it, by all means. But I just felt like they, if they were going to give F Zero fans anything, maybe something different than that. Like that just kind of feels a little cheesy. Yeah, no, it's absolutely right. And the, the, I, I'd love to see like, a custom Mario game, which has a little thing since the Yeah. But yeah, it's just. It's, it's tough to really say much about it because it's very much, a lot of you should be going with a wall, if, but... But the problem is, especially with Nintendo, that like... Yeah, they've established a very black heart on it. Yeah. And again, like, I'm not shitting on Nintendo fans. The only case where I shit on Nintendo fans is when they refuse to see criticism about things. Because everything Nintendo makes is clearly the best thing of all time, and blah blah blah. No, like really you wouldn't mean. believe the amount of fucking hate comments I got on Reddit because I said that uh, Tears of the Kingdom wasn't the best game ever made. That's fine because my friend Mel also says the same thing. She wasn't a huge fan of Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, and I was like, you know what? That's fine. 
But you see, though, that's the difference between a Nintendo fan and a Nintendo who quotes fan. Yeah, no, I don't like yeah. that. You don't do that. I just like. I don't know. The, the, the big thing for sure is that they're un Like, a lot of, like, the hardcore Nintendo people are unwilling to accept that this isn't perfect. The way Nintendo is doing stuff is not perfect. Yes. The games aren't perfect. And. I think part of why I'm more drawn to other things than I am Nintendo, except for like cozy stuff, is specifically because of the fact that it's like, well, like, what is it doing that I can't get better on a PlayStation? Honestly, like the most, like usually, like, I like to think of it as like, whenever like end of the year comes and people are always voting for their game of the year, I'm well aware, like Nintendo's not gonna win game of the year for too much, like. Oh, so people are saying that fucking Tears of the Kingdom is game is gonna get game of the year. I doubt it. No, like, no, no, no. Compared to something like Baldur's Gate, there's no fucking way. And I'm not even saying that as somebody who likes Baldur's Gate. It's like absolutely in love with Baldur's Gate. I'm saying literally because of the fact that it's like you have this tiny fucking studio that managed to put out one of the most beautiful, like story intensive games that I've ever played. I, I, and I personally agree simply because, like, Nintendo's just one company. There are so many other people making games that are probably just as good, if not better, than Tears of the Kingdom. And, like, especially because, like, with, like, my big complaint with Tears of the Kingdom was the fact that the story wasn't cohesive, and it just felt like a recycled Breath of the Wild. But, like, my... My big thing, especially if you're going to have a game that's like game of the year, is you have to have something that isn't just good with gameplay. It has to be a good story, good graphics, good, you know. Everything. Good everything. Sorry, not, not chugging over yeah. what I'm saying. We're just, oh, what's that? How do you miss this happening in a town like this? It's literally five feet from people's houses. Yeah. That's a big-ass boat. But it's like, you know what I mean, right? Like, there's no way that Nintendo, like, obviously, I don't know what's going to happen with all the Game Awards this year. Like, I know the Golden Joystick nominees just got announced, but, like, I know there's more, uh, like, the actual, like, video game awards stuff coming at some point. But, like, well, for me, it's like, I don't know how something like Tears of the Kingdom could beat out something like Baldur's Gate or Starfield or... Like, nothing to give you more, you know, like, Game Awards, just like, you know, the, like the, um, the Oscars? It isn't the Oscars, it's a pat on the back ceremony, it's not something that should be taken seriously. Yeah. It's yeah. so much of it is more of just trying to look good to see, you know, in the big names sure. rather than... Uh, X, X. No, I know, it's, it's just... just it's your money. You don't want me to... <sighs> Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you watch the next video. It's going to be extremely important. Very. We'll see you guys then.